you're starting a mobile barbecue vending business of any kind, this episode of the Pitmaster Secrets Podcast is for you. I'm Frank Cox. I've been uh, teaching people how to build smokers and cook on them for over 10 years. Hey, so on this episode, this is an excerpt from one of our live Q&As we hold every month. Uh, the question was asked to me, what do I need to know about starting a mobile food vending business, whether I'm doing festivals or catering? And uh, so anyway, I go into a lot of detail about that on this episode, and I hope you enjoy it. But before I uh, turn over to the episode here, if you don't mind, leave us a like and a subscribe on the channel. And then also, while you're watching here, if anything comes up that you think I didn't cover well enough, or I should cover again, or anything like that, any takeaways you've got, leave them in the comments down below so I can come back and check them out and reply, or even cover it on another episode of this. Click the link in the description if you'd like to be on one of those future live q and calls. Anyway, enjoy the episode. Appreciate you watching. You're listening to the Pitmaster Secrets Podcast. On a fundraiser, what they do is typically you'll have what's called a mobile temporary permit uh, with the health department. And so it gets you kind of kind of where you can use like bus tubs for yep. for hand washing and dish washing and stuff like that and you can throw away uh like if you if you use everything as disposable like foil pans plastic forks stuff that's pre-packaged like little uh you know silverware kits and stuff and and uh you know nacho trays is my favorite those things are like lightweight you know you're serving like walking food kind of um, if you're doing a plated dinner, you want to get with like some disposable stuff. So the only thing you really have to wash and sanitize, wash, rinse, and sanitize is going to be the items that you're going to reuse. For instance, if you're doing pans and stuff like that in the cooker um, that are not disposable that you're going to save or dishing spoons, stuff like that, you'll have to be able to wash, rinse, and sanitize those items with hot water. So, so there is like a, uh, a national health, you know, like serve safe, that kind of regulation and stuff like that. And it is overridden by the local jurisdiction in some States. It's at the state level, but like in Missouri, it's at the city level or the County level. Missouri is all County. The, the city only gets involved on the health side whenever it gets into like structural, excuse me, I got beer burps. Um, structural like stuff or uh like building codes kind of things or fire department related stuff like if you have a fryer inside a trailer you're going to need a vent hood and a fire protection system and all that crap so the easiest way to do it is to make everything at the serving location disposable then you don't have to worry about wash rinse sanitize on dishes but you do have to have like a place to wash hands or something like that. So, so you can get those uh, like portable toilets. They make portable sinks and you can get those and use hand sanitizer. And that's typically good enough on something like that. Um, that's what I would recommend is try to do everything disposable and cook ahead of time before you get there on your raw cooking, because they're not going to regulate that on a, on a temporary permit. Now, if you're a food truck, some municipalities force you to have like a uh, commissary, they call it. And that's kind of where you get in the distance thing. They're going to come inspect your commissary, which is like a, a place where you just got a kitchen, commercial kitchen that you're cooking at. It can't be your house, for instance. But that's more from a vending thing. That's where you're setting up like, you know, three days a week vending barbecue, you know, that kind of stuff. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Pitmaster Secrets podcast. Uh, once again, I'm Frank Cox. I'm a founder of Smoker Builder, and uh, what I want to do is extend an invitation to you. If you're looking to get your smoker started, building your first one or your next one, and you have any questions or I can be of any assistance at all, please click the link in this description or just simply type in smokerbuilder.com. That will take you to my website. And on that website, I'm going to get you started on whatever information you need to help you get your build, build done faster and easier than you can imagine. So anyway, go to smokerbuilder.com. Also join in our community. And if you found this episode valuable, please like and share with your friends and subscribe to this channel. So anyway, I appreciate you. Until next time, keep your smoke thin and blue and uh, we'll see you later.